Uh, to report to you right now, let's go right to NBC News Chief White House Correspondent Kristen Welker, live at the White House, with some information just coming in to us uh, about a search at uh, uh, one of Biden's residences. Kristen, what do you got? Mika, that's absolutely right. According to three sources familiar with this matter, FBI uh, agents, as we speak, are searching President Biden's Rehoboth Beach home for classified documents. This comes, of course, after there have been a discovery of a number of batches of documents at his think tank here in Washington and also at his home in Wilmington, Delaware. Now, we know that the FBI searched his home in Wilmington, Delaware a couple of weeks ago and searched his think tank here in Washington back in mid-November. That was after that initial discovery was made of classified documents by Biden attorneys. Now, it's not clear what specifically they are searching for, how long they will be on the property, but we are told, and this is an important point, Mika, that there is no search warrant, that the White House Counsel's Office is investigating, and that this was planned. So this is yet another data point in this ongoing issue. President Biden, of course, as we know, we have learned that classified documents were initially found at his think tank here in Washington. That, of course, comes and the White House points to the fact that classified documents were found in the home of former President Trump at Mar-a-Lago. He, of course, refused to turn them over. So the White House continues to try to make that distinction. And, of course, throughout all of this, we have learned that <laughs> former Vice President Mike Pence also had classified documents mm. in his possession. So this is an ongoing issue. The National Archives has now asked all past presidents and vice presidents to search their properties for classified documents. But this is an ongoing political problem for this White House because there's been this drip, drip, drip of information, Mika and Joe. The timing's significant. It comes, of course, a week before the president's set to deliver his State of the Union address. And sometime after that, we expect him to announce his bid for re-election. So again, Trump. just Chris, Chris, just to underline this. You say the Biden team is fully cooperating and no search warrants involved. Joe, it's such an important point, and I just want to underscore that. According to a source familiar with the matter, the White House Counsel's Office is cooperating fully with this search. There was no search warrant that was issued. This was pre-planned, so this was not a surprise search. This is something that they've been doing in coordination with the White House Counsel's Office, and that's really been a theme throughout this developing story. Of course, we first learned about this several weeks ago and two months after uh, the Biden legal team initially found that first batch of classified documents at the think tank here in Washington. But the White House has continued to stress that they are cooperating with the DOJ. And of course, there is now a special counsel investigation that is getting underway this week to look into the president's handling of classified documents. That comes as there's a special counsel investigating former President Trump's handling of classified documents. Just extraordinary that you have the current and past yeah. president under investigation by special counsels, Mika and Joe. It, it, extraordinary. All all right, Kristen Welker, thank you very much. We appreciate your the breaking news. Jonathan Lemire, uh, are you hearing anything from the White House or uh, any, any thoughts on this? Yeah, just now, actually, a statement from Bob Bauer, personal attorney for the president, which I can read. Today, with the president's full support and cooperation, the DOJ is conducting a planned search of his home in Rehoboth, Delaware. Under DOJ standard procedures in the interest of operational security and integrity, it sought to do this work without advanced public knowledge, and we agreed to cooperate. Goes on to say mm -hmm. the search today is this further step in DOJ's process that we're supporting, and we will have further information at the conclusion of today's search. So we will learn more about this later on, what they discover, if anything. Uh, but as just noted in this statement and from the report there from the White House, this is something that was uh, arranged in advance. And I think we should frame it two important things here. The, again, the stark difference between President Biden cooperating with a probe, unlike former President Trump when it came to classified documents found in his material. But also, this remains, at least so far, it doesn't seem like a legal problem for the president. Documents found, they were turned over, he followed procedure. But it's certainly a political one. It, this is it's the drip, so, drip, drip. This is staying in the headlines here, just as the president seeks to turn the page to talk about his meeting with Kevin McCarthy today, the State of the Union next week. He's expected to travel soon thereafter, including the reelection kickoff. Uh, but he's still going to be dealing with this, at least for the foreseeable future. Yeah, and I'm hearing from direct sources as well that this is part of the process that was laid out in January, where they are going to search every residence and every you know possibility to make sure that. Documents are where they need to be. Okay. All right.